This is my first attempt at making a bag. I'm calling it the CBD-1, not named for the central business district, but instead something to use when picking up comics on a Wednesday. It features a main comic book size pouch, two additional pockets for my everyday carry, an asymmetric strap arrangement, and a left-handed design. I was heavily inspired by the acronym 3A1, even though its body contour design is ultimately detrimental to its primary function. This is where the long list of failures start, with what is ultimately a successfully realised project. I wanted to use upcycled materials for this project, partially as I'm cheap, but primarily for environmental reasons. I thrifted and dismantled two jackets. Drawn in by the Death Stranding colourway, I overlooked the low quality fabric, which had several knock-on effects later. I was able to reclaim three zips, hardware and cords. I also purchased some additional materials, including this underutilised quick-release buckle, D-rings, strap adjusters, cotton webbing and bias tape, which was my favourite discovery during this process. The construction process was improvised. As I was unpicking the jackets, I watched a lot of proper fit clothing videos and headed into construction without drafting any patterns. Rather, I used the comic for proportions, building out from the zips and making sure everything was oversized, trimming off excess as I went. This worked well in the most part, except on matching the sizing of the pouches. I had tried to include a quick adjust strap like on the 3A1, but having chosen natural materials over plastic webbing and adjusters, there is just too much friction between the cotton and the metal for it to function. At least, that's the working theory just now. The buckle is cool, but it's placed where I naturally reach to adjust the position of the bag, so I keep unintentionally triggering it. Finally, some of the organisational details are just not quite right. The main zip should be in the opposite position, the yellow pouch is just too small to be useful, and there is no clear hierarchy of use for the pockets, so I keep having to check all the pockets when looking for something. Having said all this, I'm really proud of this build and planning for a version 2. I'll likely add a larger main body to the bag, allowing me to add some rigidity to the comic pouch and refine the overall form re-interrogate how the pocket arrangement should work, and thrift for ripstop material and plastic hardware. 